lassies. Welcome to Spain. So we've got away for a little bit of a February, March break here. This is Lunar Wake Park and it's probably one of the best in Europe, if not the best in Europe. I've never been here. I don't actually know the story behind it, how long it's been open or anything, but it's got some really, really good high quality obstacles. And so we're here for about a week or so uh, just to kind of get a few clips do a bit of wakeboarding so truth be told today is actually the second day yesterday we rode but with no cameras and my body is in bits today so i'm taking a little bit of a break and tim who you might have seen on the youtube before he's over here to help me film but well, he's actually doing a bit of wakeboarding now so i'm gonna get a few clips of him kind of just hitting the kicker and we'll kind of document a little bit of his progress as we go and um, but yeah we're back we're in spain the weather's good it's kind of chilly i'm not gonna lie it's long sleeve wet wetsuits um, but yeah so hopefully enjoy it So if you've been watching the YouTube for a while, you'll know Tim started wakeboarding about this time last year and he's had incredible progress. Um, but one thing that he's kind of been doing is he's been getting a little bit ahead of himself. So he's landed like a toe side back roll and a couple of 360s off a small kicker. But one thing that we said when we came to Lunar when he is wakeboarding is to really work on some of the basics, board control, riding switch. So right now I've just given him some drills of hitting the kicker. It's a big kicker compared to what he's used to. So hitting that, trying one A's off it and maybe even a grab. So we're gonna capture a few of those clips and then I'm gonna go for a ride and we'll just see how the kind of video plans out. One A's are so much better, aren't they? <laughs> I'm exhausted, my arms are on fire. <laughs> so what I think you should do is, you know the box up there? <laughs> <laughs> you know the box up the way? Yeah. Off that 180 off the end. Okay. And then next one, I think you could try to do this. 360 on that box down there. Uh, on the box? Yeah. Why not? Maybe on the box. Okay, so the approach we're gonna take is Tim's gonna do a surface 360 first, which means he's gonna do a 360 on the water here. If that goes well, then we're gonna try it on the box. There's no reason why he can't do it on the box, he's done it before, uh, but it's just a little bit different. And also, he's only ever done it, I think, on his toes on the box, whereas here it's gonna be on his heels, so it's ever so slightly. not great there to film that but it was absolutely perfect he just needs to actually go for the handle <laughs> Okay, so after the success of Tim's 360, I'm gonna go for a little ride now, and we're gonna ride doubles. Tim's never filmed GoPro doubles because the cable in Ireland doesn't let you. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the GoPro will be able to make it magic. Um, but there could be some funny outtakes on the corners, I feel like. But anyway, we're gonna do that. It's very chill. It's gonna do a little bit of rail hits and stuff. And as the week progresses, we'll probably start doing some more difficult tricks. My body definitely isn't. It's, it's a little bit rusty. That's perfect. Tim, how was it first time filming? Exhausting. <laughs> I've got the biggest forearm pump. I was like, JB O'Neill does this for hours at a time. JB, it's insane. He literally will do 55 laps in a row filming with one hand. I don't know how he does it. But yeah, so actually I just looked through the clips and they worked out pretty okay. Um, so we might just see a few clips now on the main camera and then we're going to get a bit of lunch because over here there is the restaurant and the burgers. I actually, I'm going to say it. 
It's the best burger I've ever had in my whole life. Today what we're going to learn is how to hit a big kicker. 